Spillers here, founder of Experience Dynamics, and it's time for this week's UX Power Up. So today I'd like to talk about the topic of wizards, and I don't mean those guys with the hats and all the magical spells. I mean the step-by-step -step process that we use online or in software to guide someone through a process. It's been around for, oh, 30 years or so. It has a very specific style guide related to it, which is what you see here. So you have quit on the left. You have back and next kind of side by side. You know the score, right? But what I wanted to talk to you about is that I think I'm having the feeling that wizards are overused, you know, that, and, and so what I want to talk about is the rule about wizards, that because wizards have been around for 30 years and are used in software, you know, for example, installation of software, that they're increasingly being used on the web in web applications or in experiences on the web. And one of the problems with wizards is that they're overdone. Like you don't need a wizard all the time. So even though it makes sense to have a step-by-step -step process and walk the user through, you might not need it. It might be overkill. I've seen a lot of designs where that's the case. So What's the rule about a wizard? Well, a wizard is a one-time process, and that's why it's familiar with setup. It's not, uh, for example, uh, if you try and uh, if you, you're an Outlook user and you try and look at your email, uh, open your email account, and you try and configure your email, they sort of go through a wizard process. Even the Wi-Fi configuration in Windows offers a wizard. You know, and they have that kind of choose if you're a public network or if you're on a uh, local connection and then they go end at the end. And it's like an extra step that you don't really need. So even if the same with the web, that the idea is good that you want to step-by-step -step a user through a process depending on the task and depending on the mindset that the user's in. Like you might not want to do the step-by-step. -step. It might be too much. It might be too much hand-holding. It might be too much stepping, stepping, stepping. Um, so be careful with wizards, even though they're tried and tested, we have 30 years of software development, there is a rule with wizards and it's only use it for one-time experiences and use it very carefully if it makes sense for the task, if it makes sense for the user's mindset, um, otherwise it may shoot you in the foot. It might just be this tedious like process where the user is going through and they have to go next, next, next. Um, and then you have some web applications that don't support back. They don't give you or don't give you quit. They don't give you back. Um, I tested a, a web application recently that had the back button disabled, so the user was in this wizard where it was trapped, where it was really just a next thing. You know, so that it's just a poor implementation of the uh, style guide uh, recommendation for wizards. So thanks so much. We'll see you next time.